Today we are going to see how to monitor multiple end open G instances that can run on the same local network as well as on remotely or geographically distributed locations. This is called infrastructure monitoring in the end open G parlance. So basically inside one of the instances that we have of EntopenG, we configure all the remote instances that we want to monitor. Once those instances are configured, EntopenG will automatically and periodically perform measures towards those remote instances to make sure they are reachable, they are stable, and it will also extract metrics and performance indicators such as the latency and the throughput to and from those instances. So let's see how this works. Let's assume that we are on an EntopenG instance in Rome and that we want to monitor two remotely running and open G instances in Paris and Milan respectively. How to do this? Well, first of all we go back to our Rome instance, we go to system and pick infrastructure. So from this page we have the ability to add all our remote instances. Let's click on the plus. In this form we have the ability to add an EntopenG instance name, a URL, a user authentication token and a couple of thresholds that are used to trigger alerts. So basically EntopenG will trigger an alert if the round trip time to reach this instance is greater than 3 seconds or if the bandwidth falls below 1 second. So let's start and add our instances. We can start with Paris. Let's call it EntopenG Paris. Now we add the URL http dot slash slash I know the IP address so I can add the IP address directly 3000 and now we need a user authentication token so this token gives the ability to connect to the remote instance to extract performance indicators generating a user authentication token is pretty simple, we just go to settings, users, we pick our user, authentication token, we click on generate token, copy it and we are done. We go back to Rome, paste the authentication token, check the connectivity, it says the remote instance has responded successfully, so we can simply add this instance to our infrastructure. Let's do the same operation for the other instance that we have called Milan. We click on plus, I can type EntopenG Milan one more time. I know the IP address here but I could have also typed the symbolic name to have it resolved http dot slash slash three thousand and now I do the same operation to generate an authentication token I go to admin I pick user authentication token generate token copy it, go back to Rome and add, paste. Test one more time the connectivity, it says the remote instance has responded successfully, so now I can just click add and have the second instances added to the monitoring. So now 
from this page we can see that our NTOPNG instance has already started monitoring Paris and Milan is being monitored as it takes a couple of minutes to start and we see that the instance is up we have an estimation of the throughput to reach the instance the number of hosts and flows currently active alerts engaged flow alerts and the last update we can also click on the plus to edit modify or delete the infrastructure monitoring so from this point on and TopNG will start collecting these measures and it will also let the historical measures available under the charts page. In practice, adding an active monitoring equals to adding the an infrastructure equals to adding, adding active monitoring. Indeed, if we go to the active monitoring page, we will see that we have our Milan and Paris instances added to the active monitoring with this icon that means infrastructure and for each location Milan and Paris respectively we have two measures that are being performed consistently we have the throughput and we have the HTTP so periodically NTOPNG will do a throughput test toward Milan and toward Paris and we'll do an HTTP test toward Milan and toward Paris to make sure that HTTP round trip time is less than three seconds and to make also sure that the throughput is greater than one megabit per per second so if we click on plus we see for example that the last time and TopNG measured the throughput toward Milan, the throughput was 67 megabits, so there is no alert. The same is to Paris. The, to Paris, the throughput was 80, 86 megabits. Let, let's see what happens if we tear down an instance. So I would expect and TopNG to detect the instance that went down during the next check and to see the corresponding alerts for that particular instance. So let's just allow NTOPNG a bit of time to run an additional check so that it can detect that one instance is no longer reachable. And here we are then TopNG in Paris that I have deliberately torn down is now off so our instance here is telling hey there's an error and the last time I, I was able to update this instance it was one minute ago more than one minute ago and now I can no longer reach it, it there is an error and if we click here, we go to the active monitoring, we see that there are two warnings and indeed we see that host and top NG Paris belonging to the infrastructure monitoring is unreachable. Now I can start my instance again to have those alerts automatically recovered. And that's pretty much all that you can do with infrastructure monitoring. So to sum up, infrastructure monitoring is the ability to monitor and to keep measures of multiple distributed and open G instances from a single point.